back again. Highlighted in black will be para means to be alongside, next to. That was Belisarius, and because he was alongside, he came, he, this is how Justinian discovered him, due to the Nika riots, which is right here. He helped Justinian brutally put down the blues and the greens and all the conspiracies that were against him, um, such that he almost quit being king, he almost abdicated. And then, in these two years, 533 and 534, Justinian sent Belisarius, who was his alongside advisor, he sent him to Africa, and Belisarius brilliantly won in Africa during those two years. So our boy Justinian is full of himself. Okay? Now, in the meantime, during these same two years, like I said, instead of thinking about the condition of the people and what gave rise to revolt in the first place, like a good ruler should have done, he's all full of himself because he beat them. Okay? In that sense, he's a lot like Trump. So during these two years, because the city had pretty much been destroyed, he has to do a lot of rebuilding. And at the same time, he's mounting a really expensive war. And he, yeah, he collected a whole lot of money. But now he's going to need more from people who don't have it. But they're crushed by his force. You pay your army well. Everybody else can go ahead and be poor. So long as you got your army, you got force over the people. And... This is what bad rulers do, okay? They use force like this. They get all big-headed. And the other thing they do a lot of, and it just chaps me to no end, they build a lot of buildings. That was what ancient Rome really was. It was one rich guy trying to outdo another rich guy by what kind of big temple he built. That's exactly what Justinian starts doing here. You do not really need that many church buildings. What you need is the word highlighted in black. You need the word. You don't need a building. You need some guy who's going to teach you the word. That's worth more than all the buildings on the planet. But our boy Justinian doesn't know that. See, this is the portrait of the Antichrist. What makes the Antichrist want to be an Antichrist? Well, first of all, he's deluded. He's fooling himself. He thinks he's doing good. That's the most important thing to get out of this. That's why this is a recurrent trend of history. Okay? Justinian thought he was doing God's work here. Yeah, and in the name of God, he impoverishes the people between him and his wife. And they think they're doing the right thing. Oh, so much so that now, oh, what a right thing. You got everybody and his brother trying to take you over. So much so that you either leave or you get a Belisarius to kill 30,000 of your own people. And it was really more than that. And then he goes off to kill more people in a distant land. And in order to finance that, because after all, your whole city has been destroyed by this. Well, then you got to tax the people more. Well, sooner or later, you know, you squeeze blood out of a turnip and there's no more blood left. And you think, well, gee, with all that money that he's got stored up from all this abuse, which he wouldn't necessarily call it abuse, but okay, he's still got the money. Why don't you spend that money on the people to heal them? But what does he do during these two years? The Belisarius is off in Africa. He's building churches and public buildings in Constantinople. Now, okay, fine. He's spending money to build it. The people who are helping him build it, they're getting paid. They're getting, therefore, fed. And they're spreading that money around to other people in the city. So there is some benefit to the city. But why do you have to spend it building churches? 
why don't you spend it on teachers who know how to teach these words? Is it's native Greek? It's Constantinople? It's Greek Christianity? Why don't you do that? And and you know, spend the money differently then. Spend the same money differently. Oh no. So what he starts doing right in here is he starts building and it just chaps me to hear to have to say this. He starts building something called the Hagia Sophia. Sophia means wisdom, which he has none of. Because he's building a building instead of getting the Sophia he needs. He's clearly foolish. He's not wise. The one wise guy he had is off in Africa. So now he and his foolish wife are sitting there building buildings not building up in the word, not helping anybody else get fed in the word, not helping anybody else get fed, but they're building buildings. And he is so proud of himself. Oh, I'm going to hire the best architects and the best builders. And yes, it's going to provide some employment for those people, but that's the only way the people are going to get fed. Building a building. Now, I'm sorry. A building is dead. You can have 16,000 fur coats, 16 other thousand cars, 16 bazillion doodads. Gold, silver, precious stones. Okay, but you know what? They're dead. I'd rather have two seconds of a child's smile, having learned a little bit of Bible, than the whole world full of rubies and diamonds. Because that child is going to live forever. And that moment is going to live forever to God. And honey, it's just plain worth it even if it only lasted a moment. What can a diamond do for you? Oh, stare back at you. A big hunk of rock. Okay, it's a pretty rock. Hello? So he's building, and it takes him five years to do this. So one, two, and see where Hode is? That's three, four, five. So it's este, estai, really. Jode, ho. Now that's really funny when you stop to think about what it's covering. It's covering his building at home while Belisarius is off winning wars in Africa and then going to Italy. Will be here. And then the subject of what it is. It will be here. See, the Greek plays these word games. So that's why I have to show you this. Will It will be. Ho is the it. Okay? He. You can even say he. Will be. That's third person. He. Here. Now that's not what the angel is saying. When you play it across the years that this covers, that's what you get. Okay? So it's he will be here. Okay. Or you could say <coughs> it, but with the masculine now. At that point, at the whole, you know what's there? Hagia Sophia. Hagia means saint. <coughs> By this point in church history, saint had a special meaning of somebody who did extraordinary good works. And in Greek tradition, they always personified virtues. Sophia was wisdom. So they called it Saint Sophia. Okay, it's now a mosque. But at that time, it was a newly built church. And oh, the way it was built and the cupola, which seems to be floating in the center of the church. And look at this magnificent throne. Yeah, it was a big hunk of silver that weighed thousands of pounds, and it was gilded. I can't think of a stupider way to spend money. It must have been really uncomfortable to sit on. And he and his wife would sit on it. And we built this to the glory of God. Really? 
If you really cared about the glory of God, why didn't you spend that money on getting your people Bible doctrine? This is how bad this guy is. This is how bad an antichrist is. And the thing that's so, I don't know which is worse, the guy himself being so deluded to do this, or the way history treats him. Because if you read him up in this article here, or you read about here, that's the Wikipedia article, they praise him, even Bury, even until now. It will be, what? The Church of St. Sophia. Notice how God was clever enough to put Sophia in the same line. It's got a double entendre because it's also standing for the next Sophia who's an actual person. You see, will be here, it will be here. Assuming a male noun. I mean, pretend church was a male noun. I don't know of any language where it is, but pretend. Okay. Oh, goody. They got this building with a big hunk of silver in it, and it's gilded. And all the couple I was made with this wonderful architecture, yada, yada, yada. Honey, my dad was an architect. I can appreciate good architecture, but he spends five years building what could have taken two. And honey, if you wanted to build it for God, then you should have built it really quickly and you should have fed the people so they could get Bible doctrine and you build them up inside their souls. And they could be sitting on a, a park bench. Okay? Get them learning Bible doctrine during those five years. Instead of spending five years to build a church, nobody else can enter because it's filled with gold and somebody might try to steal it or chip it off the throne of a big hunk of silver. This is how bad he is. And this is also how bad his story is and how people are. Because when you look here, or you look here, or you look at Bury even, they're all praising, oh, he must have been pious that he pursued all those people who didn't believe in that particular definition of God. And oh, he built this really beautiful church during Este Ho De Ho. Este Ho De Ho. Este ho de ho, este ho de ho. Everybody's praising him for building the stinking church that now the Muslims have anyhow. So who is the Antichrist? This guy, and what does it mean to be an Antichrist? It means you're deluded as hell. Okay? But the people praising him even until now. Oh, it was such a beautiful church that Justinian built. First of all, he didn't build it. The architects built it. Secondly, why did he spend so much money on it? When his people were obviously in dire need, so much so that they had just rebelled the year before. And, of course, he's rebuilding a lot of the public buildings in Constantinople because, hello, the people were so upset they burnt them down. When you want to build your people up first and build whatever buildings you got and have them all help and pay them all to do it and not just a few and who cares if it's the most spectacular church building ever I mean come on I mean even I'm, I'm not saying this to sound like a liberal or to sound virtuous you the most selfish person on earth see in these days, these people, the, with you an emperor, you owned your people. Everybody was beholding to him. Don't you care about your investment? What What is a building that's a fancy church going to do for you? It's going to sit there. It's going to need constant care. And it's going to need constant guarding. Because you were stupid enough to put a big hunk of silver and gild it. Why, why didn't you invest in your people and have them be nice and strong and healthy and, and, and invest in commerce so that your nice, strong, healthy people start earning money so they can start paying you more taxes? But it doesn't hurt them to do so, and they're happy to do so, so that they won't try to throw you over again. See, a smart ruler would think like that. 
not it's not virtuous. It's just smart. Do you knife your couch? No. But that's what he's doing. He's building this big freaking building and telling himself how holy to God he is because he's building a church, which he's not even building, his architects are. And then everybody, this is the killer part. This is how you know it's satanic. Everybody after Justinian, when anybody ever mentions this guy, even until today, Oh, he built this beautiful church called the Hagia Sophia, St. Sophia, do you? Sophia means wisdom, and he had none, and neither does anybody else who praises it. Because if you had wisdom, you wouldn't spend your money that way. Okay? Only stupid people spend their money this way. But, oh, he's all full of piss and vinegar because coming alongside him was Belisarius, who won, who's winning in Africa. And now he needs to tell himself that he's, you know, in with God. So, oh, if I build this really fancy church, then God will have to reward me. You're spitting on his people, honey. How's he going to reward you? And that's real important to say because that's what happens next. This church is finished at 533, 34, 35, 36, 37. That's when it's finished. From that point onward, everything starts to go bad for this poor boy. But you see why it has to? And not just for him, but for all who admire this kind of stuff. You see why it has to? From Nus Hoechon Sophion, which means a mind having, this is literally having, wisdom. Here, and then it, it, the word is is not really in the verse, but it's here, comma, a mind having wisdom. In other words, what I'm about to tell you you need to you need to have Bible doctrine to understand. Well, he didn't have any, clearly. So as soon as the whole for the church that was supposed to represent Bible doctrine and get you thinking about God, well, he didn't have the news for it. He didn't have the mind for it. So a mind having wisdom, that's exactly over what he's going to lose. It's it's just so it's so sad. To have to cover this next part, I want to die. From 537 to 544 are going to be probably the worst years of his life. And they don't stop there. They just get worse. And we'll pick that up at the next increment.